Hey everyone, welcome to another week of the devlog for my game. This is week 11 of the devlog. This is week 12 of the devlog. So, another week has passed and we've got some more done. I managed to make a couple more graphics for the game. So now we have a new alien as well as a new planet that I also animated. And I set up all of the levels for planet number five. So another one down, let's check it out. So like I said, the first thing I did this week was to create some graphics for a new alien and a new planet. This batch of graphics, I wanted to do a blue one. So I've got a few different colors for each of the planets. They're all a little bit unique and you can easily tell which alien goes to which planet. This time the planet I put together went a lot more smoothly. I've done four of them before this. It wasn't too difficult this time. So here's the final product. So for Planet 5, the main mechanic that I wanted to add into these levels was a teleporter. The alien will come in the level, go into the teleporter, and pop up somewhere else. I think it's a pretty cool concept, and it certainly adds a little bit more challenge to the game. Then I got straight into the main part of the week, designing some new levels. There's 10 levels just as usual for each world, so I had to make 10 of them. The main mechanic I used for this world is the teleporter. However, I did also add in one other mechanic that's also new for this world, and that is the cannon. So the teleporter, you can't see on the screen when you're playing where you're going to be teleported to. It's kind of random the first time you play through. It means you need to play and learn where the teleporters go and remember so that when you go to play the level, you know where to go. I wanted to make a couple of different levels that relied on kind of paths. So as you can see here in this level I'm designing, there are a whole bunch of different teleporters and they all go to different places. So you need to figure out which is the correct route through the level. The cannon, when I added this, the idea of the cannon is more of a destructive thing. It destroys the lines that you have drawn so when you're trying to direct the alien to go somewhere, the cannonballs can break the line that you've drawn, as well as they can hit the alien and knock them around as well. So the cannon provided quite a good challenge as well, I thought, after I played around with it a little while. Ah, uh, just finished the last planet. So what, you're done? Yeah, I just need to polish the game up a little bit, add some more graphics, maybe some sound effects. I think you should add one more planet to the game. Ten more levels. Make some hard ones. I don't know. Some of them are a little bit difficult already. Well, I think it'd be cool. Alright, well maybe one more. A bonus level. A bonus world. It'd be something for everyone to try and accomplish. If you collect all the stars throughout the game, you can unlock the bonus planet. I like where you're going with this. I knew you'd see it my way. Oh yeah, and I thought of a name for the game. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. So I thought I'd give you some gameplay of a few of the levels that I designed for Planet 5. So here's a couple of them that I thought deserved special attention. Well, that's it, another week down. The game's getting close to being done. And what's left? Well, I need to add some extra polish to the game, so making a few more graphics, maybe some backgrounds and some more tile sets for the levels. I also wanna add a simple story for the game just to give it a little bit of character. So I need to animate some storyboard animations. So that's what I'm gonna be working on for the next week. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you can see how it progresses in the next week. And we'll catch you in the next video. See ya!